A very important element of your CDs is the ability to make them start automatically as soon as they're inserted into the, into the CD drive of the computer. And let me give you a quick example now. I'm going to open up my CD drive and put in a CD for a piece of software I have. Okay, I'm just putting it in now. And you should see that as soon as a computer realizes a CD has been inserted, okay, I'm just closing the CD drawer now. So as soon as the computer realizes a CD has been inserted, because the CD is being created that way, it should start automatically. So we should see something appearing any second. And here, here goes. Okay, it's just thinking about it. And there we go. Okay, it's a little bit too large for the screen, so let's just move it down a bit. But it's it's the CD of a soft of software called MediaFace, which is for it's for CD and DVD labeling. Okay, we can actually close this. Okay, it's closed. Okay, how is that done? That's actually surprisingly simple. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that to you right now. Okay, if I open up, or if I go to my computer here, and it shows me the drives I've got available on the computer, what I'm interested in, of course, is the CD drive. So double-click that, and it should open. Okay, I didn't want that to happen, so let's get rid of that, and right-click, and choose Open. And as you can see, the default option here in the menu is autoplay. And we don't want that, we want open. Okay, open. And we can start taking a look at the files on this CD. And as you can see, there's a number of folders. But what we're interested in particularly is the files here. And right in the root of the CD, which is basically right at the beginning of the CD, as you can see, the CD drive is E drive. And basically right at the start, well, let me be a bit clearer, when I say root, I mean right at the beginning of the CD. If I double click a folder, we're no longer in the root of the CD, of the CD because we've gone into a subfolder. The root is the location on the CD when you're not in any folders. So let's go back up. Okay, we're in the root of the CD now. And we're interested in the file auto autorun.inf autorun.inf. And we can we can actually ignore this autorun.ini. We don't need to worry about that. All we need to do to replicate the the automatic starting or the, the autoplay feature is autorun.inf. So let's double click it. And that's all it is. Very simple structure open equals and then the file you want to run automatically in this case it's set up the setup file but you would of course you, you would keep the structure in place of this file but you would simply change this value here and I'll come to that in just a moment okay let's close that right I've copied the auto run.inf file to the desktop here and I'll, I'll I'll talk through customizing it in just a moment, but what you would want to do is, let's say you were starting, you were creating a brand new CD from scratch. So you would, let's say, right click, and we, you want to choose new, and you want to choose folder. And let's say, let's call this folder, uh, my new CD. And if I was to click, hold and drag this here, I can move it into the My New CD folder. Uh, yes. Okay, let's open this folder now. Double click. And here it is. Here's the autorun.inf file. So we've started creating the CD. At the moment there's just one file, of course. So let's double click it. And again, keep the structure in place. And you can pause this video if you want to copy this down. Or you can get this autorun.inf file from any, pretty much any software CD you have. And then open equals. 
And what I'm going to talk you through initially is an easy way to, to set up auto run. And what we can do is, let's say open equals start, or let's say, let's call it menu.html. So what we're doing here is, as soon as your CD, or as soon as this, the CD we're creating here, is inserted into the computer, menu.html is automatically opened. And of course I need to create, this is a web page because it ends in .html. And I need to create this of course. And I'll create it in a moment. But this is an easy way to create this, to use this feature. Because web pages are easy to create, and basically what happens then is when your CD, or in this instance when this CD, is inserted into the CD drive, then this web page opens automatically in the web browser. And then you have the flexibility of web pages to create menus, to, to create whatever you want, and I'll talk through all this as well. So this is a very easy way to implement this very nice auto-run feature for your own CDs. And you, you don't need to be overly technical to, to do this. As you can see, you just need to be able to create your own web pages and edit this simple text file. Okay, so that's done. So let's close and save. Okay. Actually, let me cancel that one slight mistake. Uh... Let's close it and not save for now. Because I copied this file initially straight from the CD, by default, it's, it's known as read only, which means you can read it, but you can't make any changes to it. So let me right click, choose properties. And okay, what we're, what we're interested in is here, attributes down the bottom. At the moment it's read only, and this means you can view the file but you can't make any changes, which is obviously not what you want. So make sure that's unchecked, and then OK. So now, OK, I need to double click again and edit again, because I didn't save the changes last time. We're calling it menu.html, and now it should save without problem, and it does. And let's close this document. Okay, so that's the first step. So that's how easy it is to to get your CDs to run automatically just by having an auto run.inf file and customizing it customizing it as you want for the for the type of file or the for the file you want to open automatically. And I would suggest to keep things easy, just having a web page opening automatically, because then it's very easy for you to create and customize web pages, to create menu systems, to create menus, and you know to help your your user, the person viewing your CD, find their way around around your CD. And of course, by opening an HTML file, a web page automatically, everyone's got a web browser on their computer. So there's not going to be any technical issues there. As soon as they enter this, well, put the CD into the drive, the web browser will start automatically show them your web page, which we haven't created yet, and then they can start navigating their way around the CD.